Can your iPad do this cool little party trick? I know my can, but can yours? Who knows? Welcome back YouTube, it's VLD shooting back with another video and this is week three of the keyboard review. It's coming out on every Friday on February and I have a fantastic, awesome, spectacular product for you for today. It is the keyboard case for iPad Mini 6 2021. And this one has a cool little party trick that the other ones can't do. This is week three. It comes with a micro USB charging. It charges via that way and opening it up, it looks like any other keyboard case review I've done in the past, but it has a twist to it. And this one stands out from all the other ones because it does something that none of the other ones can. And with that, when you open it up and take a look inside, the keyboard can be adjusted a little bit, up and down, it's clear, and it can rotate completely, completely 360 around. So if you have a TikTok, craze it will work with that besides that it's not that great you have two different grooves in order to adjustment for it and when you open up the keyboard itself as you can see you get your basic instructions you know one side's English one side's Chinese and it and you have your basic instructions and your typical stuff that show you how to connect it which I mean it's pretty much self-explanatory this is compared to my last one well my very first one for my keyboard reviews I've done. And it looks exactly like the same of the current product. Give or take, keyboards are the same. So in my past video, I've explained pros and cons of each. There's really no pros. So it's basically just cons at this point. They are the exact same keyboard, exact same everything. The only difference between these two cases are the pen holders on the top instead of the bottom arm this time around which is good because you can actually do the wireless charging. And compared to my first one, they just threw a sticker over it and hand wrote Mini 6 so they show they have really a lot of love with it. But with this product, the only difference is the case. On the back, you have the cutoff for your camera, which is good. When you close it, it does not have raise awake, which that's pretty common with a cheaper keyboard. So that could be a trade-off for some people. You have the bomb with your charger, it doesn't have raise awake, it has the same keyboard. The keys will actually hit the screen when you actually close it. So that's also a second trade off with other people having with those products. And that's one thing I don't actually like. In the first two videos I've done for the month showcase a better product than this one. This is only about 25 bucks on Amazon. Current, currently right now it's for 25.99 and it has the detachable keyboard. You have two grooves in the bottom in which you can adjust for different angles, which I've done a couple of reviews in the past. I don't actually have that. My bad, you only have actually one. Yeah, the other one's a flap for the hinge for the case. The typing experience for it is kind of mushy. It's kind of flat, and you will make a lot of mistakes with this keyboard overall. And showcasing it also zoomed in it's just the same keyboard case all the other ones have came out since the release of the mini 6 all the chinese companies have released the same keyboard in different cases in a different package but it's the same experience and i've ever reviewed the same case several times just in a different package and i'm not really a fan of it whatsoever but the twist of this one is that so if you're addicted to TikTok or vertical videos, this is the perfect device for you because you can actually turn the iPad itself to the other angle so you can watch vertical videos while it's still in the case. This might be good for some people. If you, if you like to do a lot of FaceTiming or anything like that, it might be a pro for you. But overall, I don't see a need for this product. I just bought it just because it was kind of cool and neat. I mean, who can 360 or keep their uh, iPad themselves? I know I can now. So it's a cool novelty. But this keyboard, it's cheap. It's, it flexes. Like I'm not really putting a whole lot of pressure into it. So it bends fairly easy. It's not a good product whatsoever. It's cheap plastic. Magnet, magnets are on the back of it to hold it into the keyboard case itself and 
the ergonomics of the keyboard itself. Like you have to fit a small full size keyboard into something in that small package. I've reviewed and said this multiple times. Don't buy this. Get a folding keyboard case. This is the iClever BK05. You can purchase it for about 45 bucks off Amazon. And it's the same, roughly about the same size or space as the keyboard itself. But you are just given such a better experience in life. With this product, I have said it time and time again, I am a huge fan of this folding keyboard. I should become their unofficial spokesperson for that. Don't buy a cheap folding case for your iPad Mini 6. If you want it all in one, just get the iClever BK05. Granted, it's a little bit more expensive. It's titanium steel. You have a full-size keyboard. And the typing experience is just phenomenal. I mean, like cheap gimmicks like this, don't, don't go buy cheap gimmicks like this. Get an actual good quality product. And the iClever BK05 is fantastic. This keyboard case is just atrocious. I just bought it to try it out just so I can swivel it and say, hey, this is neat. I can take it to a bar. Maybe I'll get a free beer or something down the road. This keyboard is terrible. I don't recommend it. This is a lifesaver. I love this device. When I eventually die, I hope they bury with me because this is just fantastic. It is just astronomically better in every aspect. Never buy this product. Get a better keyboard case in my last two reviews. I'm your host, VLD. Smash that bell and subscribe.